I don't always use a travel palette, but when I do, it's freaking adorable. Look at this. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is Stephanie. And uh, yes, it's true. Sometimes I use cute little travel palettes. And today I'm going to show you um, the two teeny tiny little travel palettes that I have. Um, one is by Tira Lira, who is uh, on Etsy uh, as of today, as far as I know. And um, I will link that for you if you're interested. But uh, she sells these teeny tiny little, uh, the case and the palettes and the magnet and the whole thing separate as well as in a kit or with paints or without paint. Um, and I, I made the silver one myself. Like I had a spare business card holder. And so uh, I bought this extra palettes from her and put that one together. Um, and I, I like them and there's so many reasons why I recommend these because when I first started, this is what, uh, one of the first things I, I got myself so that I could paint more. And I think it really helped contribute to my improvement over time, uh, faster it was because when I had these, it, I felt motivated to paint more and because they're so portable then you know they're just so tiny um the other reason is because you it'll help you find your color palette that you like because they're so minimal and because the little tiny um palettes the little pans are interchangeable you can kind of like swap them around and change your mind and learn what colors are, you know, what you're going to use the most. And so that's another huge benefit about these little tiny interchangeable palettes versus one of these like big plastic palettes that, you know, like you have to wait until you use up the whole thing that you've squished, you know, paint into um, before you can change out that paint that's in that that thing. Now this case, this zippered case, this pouch, um, I bought it like on clearance at a big store. I don't remember which one, um, but it, it's great. Before I got these fancy travel brushes, I would just stick a cheap brush in there. And by cheap, I mean like, I think it was like a, a round, my round synthetic one, my Mimic Squirrel that I got from Jerry's Artorama that I use uh, still today. That was like one of my first brushes. It fits in this case. And um, I was just stick it in there and just take a brush with me. Just make sure you buy a short handled brush uh, so that it'll fit inside one of these zippy cases. But I see these all the time, like on jet pens or um, on Amazon. But I paid $4 US, so sorry if you can't find one at that price. And it served me well. So uh, yeah, that's that's my little zippy travel case and my little palettes fit in here, which also makes me paint more. Now, I did try buying one of those um, cases, those little metallic cases with the pans. I think it had like 12 pans. I hope I am explaining this and it makes sense. They're metal. You see them on Amazon or sometimes they already come preloaded with paint. I just found that tubes were a lot more economical and so I filled it up with paint, the little metal ones, but I found they were too bulky, you know? And so I was carrying multiple things. Um, I had the uh, bulk of the, the metal t 
tin, you know, pan, a uh, palette with all those pans inside. And yes, it had the mixing base, but I didn't, I didn't, turns out I didn't really need it. Um, you know, when you're painting so small, when you're just taking with you a tiny little sketchbook and the one you're seeing right now is actually bigger than what I would travel with when I first started. Um, when you're just painting really, really small, you don't need all that much mixing space. And like I was saying, so you're carrying whatever sketchbook you decide to carry. And a lot of people start out with the ginormous eight and a half by 11 or whatever, A5 size, um, Strathmore, those big ones with the giant coils. You know, let's say you're carrying that thing and then you're carrying your little metal palette and you're carrying whatever case you have or roll for your brushes and you have some sort of water container. It's just, it's a lot. And then you need a bag. And I don't know, some people carry bags. You know, I, I personally, I carry a bag. So then I'm a bag lady. Nobody wants that. Um, so being compact and having a dedicated travel like system is going to help you. Uh, it helped me and you know, I'm that person at the bar who's painting watercolors. Yes, it's true. I have actually now even reduced my little system even more. And I have, I found these really cute little itty bitty tiny watercolor uh, pads that are, oh no, I'm sorry, it's a block glued on all sides. So I'm super portable. And I, it, so it goes, it slides inside my zippy pouch. My little palette slide inside my zippy pouch. I got my brushes. And usually what I do is um, at the craft store, there's these little containers and they have like a twist top. I just fill that up with some water once I get to wherever I'm going. And boom, I'm done. I usually carry like a Nalgene bottle with the water. So then once I'm there, then I fill that up with a little bit of water and I'm good to go. So it's, yeah. And, and that's really it. So if you're feeling like um, you don't art enough because your stuff is clunky or bulky, just start downsizing, but not like getting rid of your stuff. <laughs> Downsize like honey, I shrunk the kids style and start getting yourself some little mini travel size stuff and just start, start little by little and um, get yourself a little palette together and your little zippy pouch, zippered pouch together, throw in a brush, decide what brush it's going to be and a tiny sketchbook that's going to trigger ideas for you later in the future. And you'll find yourself drawing more if it's with you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit the like button, <laughs> please. And I will talk to you all again soon. Take care. Bye.